I see, I see. So the concern is that there was a misrepresentation in terms of characterization as Jewish. And, you know, Jewish has changed over the years. I never actually molested any children, so I don't qualify by that definition. But I keep hearing this ideation about the blood bond. And I'm sorry, but it just reminds me too much of these accusations of, like, blood libel, where you go after the blood of Christian children. And unfortunately, my experience is the complete opposite, right? Because they're actually going after the blood of any children, and then they convert them after the children are dead to Christian, so that then some senior can inherit all of the great stuff that was part of that beautiful little child that was sacrificed. Right? So this is where I'm getting confused. But I'll tell you what. So far as I know, there's a couple of standards for measuring the actual blood quantum or blood quantity that would qualify someone for a racial or demographic uh, particular assignment. Right? So there's the one quarter. Right? And that's what they did in Israel after the Nazis. Right? But then there's the one eighth. And that's what they did on the tribal roles here in the United States. Right? So what standards are we going with? See, this is why it's very important and all that like slander against the Chinese, especially with all that they were trying to raise awareness about in telecommunications. That's why it's important. Then we're going to have to get to the whole two strands, right? The whole binary. And then we're going to have to get into a means by which to authenticate that there's actually only literally two strands of DNA that has that kind of information and that what has not happened has been that there has been some sort of blood oath put into a particular sector that actually defames everybody by remanding us to a double helix when it comes to DNA so that we can be pre-programmed because this particular paradigm is so primitive we can't we can't function outside of the duality I know I know but see in my spiritual practice, my actual authentic spiritual practice that nobody wants me to talk about, I actually don't believe we only have two strands of DNA. And this is a big problem because if I talk about that, then somebody's going to start trying to say some bullshit about how I have a mental illness and it can be proven because of my DNA, right? And I think the question is, who's got the political capital on crazy? And because I won't acknowledge and accept that I'm mentally ill, I am not allowed to be a part of one particular demographic experience indication. This is a big problem, isn't it? So let's make sure you get the standards correct. Then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to do it scientifically. You're going to have to provide test cases of actual individuals who have been authenticated as being a standard and being an exemplar of that standard. And only after I talk to them in person and get their consent to go through with a comparative analysis of an actual blood sample will I consider whether or not to provide one myself. See, because then you're going to have to get into this understanding of inherit through the child versus the policy and process of matrilineage, right? And then we're going to have to deal with concepts of stem cell research and who gets to claim the patent and copyright entitlements to stem cell research, right? Yeah. And all of this is actually what the defamation is about. Because you want me to shut the fuck up and let you completely neuter the military without actually holding the military formally accountable for any of its crimes. So that then a bunch of bioterrorists can moonlight that they're healers and heroes while they commit even worse and more atrocious crimes than anybody actually accused the military of. And I'm just kind of confused because my whole thing is, well, you won't let anybody actually hold the bioterrorists moonlighting as if they're medical practitioners accountable. And nobody's actually holding the military accountable. And all they look like is a force of very sleazy, badly, badly organized pimps, right? And at the end of the day, it's like the big problem is that I won't pimp and I won't prostitute. And then we get back to, well, am I authentically Jewish? Right? I'm fucking serious. Well, what if I do both the pimping and the prostitution? Does that mean I get to be a Jew and a Christian? Fuck you. <laughs>